Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play DK64. Last time we explored more of Fungi Forest, and this time we're going to head back this way. One thing we have forgotten about so far is the number five pad. Switch over to Lanky Kong. We have this up here. Shoot that. And I believe if I am correct. I don't think there's anything we can do in here at the time. So I grab these bananas. If there is something I do need to stress in here is there is some... Over here is something I need to stress about. This rabbit race right here. You cannot do it yet. There is a move you get in the next level that you have to use to get this race done. If you don't have that move, you cannot do the level. You cannot do the race. That is the only instance in this game, besides before when you get all the Kongs, that you have to backtrack. It is weird to me. I don't get why they did it like that, but they did it like that. As such, I will be back there once... All of this is done. There's some Diddy Kong bananas. We haven't really had much Diddy Kong action this level due to certain things going on right now. I don't know when we will have any Diddy Kong action. I do know there are some red bananas up here. I'm going to grab those. Yeah, Diddy Kong doesn't really get to star much in Fungi Forest until much later in the level. But I think there is one banana I can get right But, here's what you can get the on. Welcome to bonus stage. Teetering turtle trouble. There's some turtles in there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that was easy, I think. That's the first banana with Diddy Kong in this level. I'm not counting the food for my pain. I think there's one more thing I can do here for now. Switch over to Donkey Kong real quick though, before I head back to the entrance. I think I can do this one thing at a time. Oops. I'm really looking at in terms of time right now. Five minutes. I am not going to get a lot done this video. I'm pretty ahead of this video, so let's see. So over here we got five bananas for DK and that gets us another banana. Okay. I'm gonna switch over to Tiny Kong. From that area we saw like Diddy Kong in and stuff. Frickin' crystal coconuts. I'm almost out of these things, and who knows how valuable these things are gonna be in the future. And right over here is an anthill or something. Grab some bananas real quick. back up. Oh no, I think we got another race coming up. Relax, we don't have any races coming up, I promise. A gold banana. Grab that. And we got a tiny second banana here at 1.5. That's five eighths of the way there. And more than a certain percentage of done. 62.5. thingy we got, and that will take us through. Hopefully not a bonus game. I don't remember this. I don't think this one is being a bonus game. I think it does. That's just stupid. Now we're doing all these objectives, and it's like such heavy stuff. I'm like... Why would we do this? Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, do that more health. Let's do that like heal the clap traps in it before you can like get this banana. So for those of you wondering why this thing isn't here yet, that's why. Then Squawk will come and get you one more time. And We'll take you up top to grab the banana. It is one twenty six. So we finished that up. So there's really only one thing left to do here now. Looks like we've locked off for all these nighttime things. I don't know what to do about that. It's really bizarre. I've never seen anything like it. Okay. Long Guy Forest is only half done. If you wanted to, you could probably take on the boss now. You should probably have enough bananas, but. You're only seeing Fungi Forest for how it is. What if I told you Fungi Forest wasn't all happy? There was some really dark and scary stuff to Fungi Forest. A lot of people will tell you that a world we haven't gone to yet is the scariest level in the game. I disagree. This one's atmosphere is much creepier at night. I mean, I'm not really one who likes to point out music, but on this, I kind of feel the need to turn up the music real quick. y'all can see why. Maybe. I consider this the best level in the game. I don't... I just like the atmosphere of switching between day and night. Okay, so this now is a puzzle where you have to stay straight. Keep balance, the balance puzzle. Failure to keep balance results in death. That was close. So we climb up here.
I'm gonna go over here quietly. Careful. Got it. Yep, I died. Good thing is, if you lose here, you just start back from where you start back from the beginning of the obstacle, and not so much the beginning of the level, which I'm glad. Well, I screwed myself over quickly there. <laughs> but basically, so the reason I like this level so much is because once you finish the day portion of it, you get some. You get the night portion as well. Let me see if I can, you know. Be. Well. I mean, that kind of worked. I think I got all the bananas in here now, maybe? I don't know. Can't. You know, I probably should start doing this. I got myself some Bluetooth headphones. Which I can actually connect to my TV. I don't think I do that next video, probably. Except I can only use it when watching, like, videos and stuff, I think. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try it next to next recording, cause so I can actually maybe hear the uh, audio on my TV. Yeah, that's right, I forgot. I'm gonna off screen when I get to that banana. Jesus Christ, I'm not doing this real. Is I got 127 bananas. All right. Oh, here's our first banana fairy for the level. There she stays. And she actually stayed still. Of course, we got the bats in the way. Got it. That'll work. I think. I'm done. 